Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. And we're going to be talking about Portia Williams again. Yes we are. And how she felt on her last finale season of her first uh, show that was given to her from Bar Bravo. How uh, she wanted Dennis to be more like a brother to her. Okay. <laughs> I'm like out of all the commotion you and your family stirred up for this man and he actually sexed you got you impregnated had a baby by you and you want to do something or think something so triflingly as that as you want to see dennis your once lover your baby daddy as a brother how sick is that portion you has been you have been exposed to being a lying lying thieving heifer of the reality queen show child you so much trying to impress your future husband to where you letting your family pretty much destroy your daughter's husband i mean your daughter's dad only because you felt some kind of way the man done apologize i don't know how many times i don't know how many ways but yet you feel like he just hurts you and you're just gonna drive it in drive it in till the day he died and that's a sad way to live and i think you need to see counseling for that i really do think you should because in my eyes when y'all sat down and had that dinner it was like you had forgiven him okay forgiving him totally and you were trying to move on now if he did something else uh <coughs> to what we may have seen on TV or we may not have seen on TV then just give the ghost up let him be himself let him continue to sow his oaks okay and you move on with your life whether it's with Simon or you're just going to raise your daughter for yourself and take yourself off the market for a while but you're really not raising your daughter by yourself shout out to the Jasmine brand go over to her YouTube station visit her she has top uh conversation and correspondence on celebrity news okay <coughs> until i sent you over there but you're putting all your eggs once again into a man like cordell or any other famous nfl player that you've had in your past that you exposed you're putting all your eggs in one basket hoping you will finally get that life that you've been living the white picket fence the the child the children the the a dutiful respectful a uh, faithful husband and it's like how many men are you going to run through before you realize that it's you you are the dom denominator the common denominator in all of this mess it's you baby it's you okay and then just how you treated lundy your cousin who is trying to be the best cousin to you as possible because she is the youngest her and storm both but you chose to look at storm as one you can compare yourself to then lundy i mean she has said it and other people have said it to her about why do you let portia treat you the way she does i don't know if portia just sees you as an overweight unattractive person that needs to be around somebody as beautiful as her I don't know it just seems like she likes beauty she likes the body and that's something you don't have or she feels you don't have and she may you know i don't know this is what i'm getting this is what i'm feeling i may be totally wrong maybe totally off the market but you're not the type of person she wants to hang around she even said it you don't want to hang around her she don't want to hang around you and the reason why i think she don't want to really hang around you is a lot of you know your body type how you look it's not what she's been presenting herself to be and, and formulating herself. And then she may be a little angry that you're on the side of her dad's side and they're doing so much charity work and you're so more involved or uh, evolved than she is. You know, we can put that as the first and we can just take it that she just don't like your looks. You just don't like you, period, because you don't, you're not the epitome of good looks. Now, I'm just saying, I see a beautiful woman, a beautiful black woman. You know, I'm a heavy set woman myself, and I, I like the way you look. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to you gotta like you first before you try to change anything. You might see that you don't want to change anything. You're happy with where you look. But see, you can see Lauren. You can see Miss Diane. You can see Portia. That's what society 
portrays of beauty the correct beauty you got to have the right size figure you got to have the right size smile you got to have the right size looking like a more european type of black woman you know and it's sad you know and then because diane i mean lisa lauren's mom she's a heavy set woman but she's beautiful you know what i'm saying so the image that portia has in her mind is that beauty is when you're aesthetically pleasing to the eye you're flawless and this that and third but that's portia's hang up that's her flawed mentality not yours lundy so i wouldn't have been looking for any type of resolution to be with my cousin on trying to understand her as you can see when she was trying Londi was trying to tell her you know that you tell dennis to fire me she was just so evasive she didn't say no and then she said well you must believe him she's gonna turn it on Londi in a sense like you must believe him because you're coming to me with this you know this is not me or whatever but evidently you don't believe him so it just is what it is that's pretty much what she's trying to say instead of her giving her a concrete no Londi i did or she had some reference to you know talking about what are you paying lundy or this that and the third she can say that but she could say no definitely defiantly i did not have him fire you and but matter yet let's call him right now so he could tell me when and where i told him to fire you okay and then she got into the pattern of she did fire lundy uh prior to that or it may have been after that because lundy had messed up her chanel bag and she had already had her replacement right there in front of her and lundy didn't even know it but the whole thing was lundy was asking for respect from portia and try to form a better relationship and portia just went off on the girl she got up from the table i thought it was gonna be a misunderstanding with them hands connecting to lundy or whatnot and Lundy was just so emotional because she could not really believe that her cousin was saying all these things and trying to do all these these things but of course we got you know Candy laughing Marlo laughing Kenya laughing and <coughs> they just can't understand what they pretty much saw in those scenes because I know the Real Housewives of Atlanta cast tuned in hell if Wendy Williams was still on her show she would be talking about Portia and maybe not one day where she probably would have made the whole week about Portia and what the hell is she doing and then you got this man he don't care he probably talking to his Liberian brothers his Nigerian brothers about you he don't care about your daughter because he don't care about his kids so how in the hell are he gonna try to help you raise your own daughter when he don't really care about his daughter and that's what Dennis was saying you're not gonna let my daughter fall through the wayside because i'm her dad not simon i'm still living i'm still breathing i will make those decisions and if um if he had your ex-husband um steve harvey had cordell on his show talking about you he don't give a shit about you either he probably think you're a thought then you down there fighting and carrying on and simon can't even really hold you or probably didn't want to hold you he probably wants you to smack them upside the head however your mom should have been there she if she felt you were out of control especially when you hollering and and talking loud to miss gina and having them escorted out on your drop of a dime do you really think this man is not taking in all the accounts that is happening with you and he can see how emotional with you things can get and what is your daughter what does she see simon do something to you or say something to you and you don't like and you just go off the deep end and start throwing plates and, and knives and forks in your own house at him okay he gonna feel that's an assault charge and you're gonna be in jail okay and i don't know what baby, baby pj gonna be but you disrespected his mom of course you disrespected him at that last meeting y'all were having on your last finale show you just was disrespectful all the way around the park and then you're gonna have the nerve to say i want you to have a relationship with me and pavar but you're not gonna have a relationship anymore with my side of the family we're going to x you out we're going to uh evacuate you okay we're going to excommunicate you you only have a relationship with your mom your daughter and that's it 
when you drop her off to me then she becomes my property and you're not allowed but just at the end of the taping and the beginning of the taping of the last episode we saw you were inviting him in the house you were telling him to come in let's talk a little bit so i would be just like dennis i don't trust you I don't trust your mama because she's going to battle for you anyway. Even though she says she loves me, she respects me, and she wants me to be a good dad to her granddaughter. Look how you treat Lundy. Look how you treat Storm. And you try to get Storm to, co- to connect with you to try to put me in a Mexico jail. Look how you treat my mom. Okay? Why would I want to be around you? Why would I trust you? And you starting all this stuff. It don't make no sense because she's still trying to throw stuff at Dennis and try to get to him. And Dennis don't turn it the other way. He trying to hold on to Miss Darlene, which is uh, Portia's aunt, Diane's mom, which all this commotion going around. And her, this is her family members as well. Well, London's really not her family member. She's on the Williams side, Jose Williams side, Portia's daddy's side. So i can see her not really caring a hill of beans but this is the point how she was talking to lundy how she treated lundy and that's just not right period and point blank okay no matter what relationship they had uh portia her mom had when she was growing up trying to raise um um portia along with her dad until he died excuse me until he died it until he died when she was 16 years old so portia had a long life with him to be able to formulate who was really the problem in their mother and dad's relationship you know where did the, the fall the breakdown come from and we could definitely simply say if your dad cheated that's something your mama never got over and that's something that bleeded into you if a man had ever cheated on you that was something you were never going to get over because your mama never dealt with it hypothetically okay because i'm not no i'm not under, you know i don't know for a fact but that'd be true i'm just speculating but let's get into all about the tea when it talks about you and dennis sitting down at that last um try to be a dinner a light dinner that you pretty much tore apart because you wasn't playing good in the sandbox and you was not understanding what he was saying but anyway this uh little reading comes from all about the tea take it for what it be we don't know if to be a true sight anymore because uh they were on the internet doing some crazy stuff too with other bloggers but at the point of time i did reference a lot in my career on youtube uh a lot of her um information to be cited correctly and a true source of information but you know hey just take it as a grain of salt just listen to it make your own evaluations all right but it goes in to say portia tries to bring up mama gina and dennis immediately shuts that down portia's playing a new game and not even dennis knows what's going on in her head dennis asks where the two of them are are now and portia wants to put their co-parenting um in black and white dennis reveals he sent her court documents but portia claims to not have seen them portia doesn't want a judge involved but dennis dennis wants something concrete portia is becoming a victim as dennis tries to explain to her what joint custody is portia gets upset and claims that dennis only pays for pilar schooling and dennis isn't taking any of portia's crap anymore which he shouldn't because he has definitely gotten very detrimental and his character is being defamed because of one of her cousins okay and we all know the uh, ups and downs and comings and goings of that s- s- significant um situation okay but we go back in the story it says um Uh, The food finally comes out and Dennis sends his food back. Dennis is done with this conversation and Portia feels like he's threatening her. What kind of threats? I didn't see it. He just wants stuff in black and white and concrete so he knows how to follow the law to the letter. Okay, or the letter of the law, however you want to view it. He just wants to say, if the judge say this, that, and the third, then I am going to have to comply with what the judge wishes on our uh, raising of our daughter our co-parenting and because he don't trust portia he don't trust portia and her new husband which i wouldn't either under the circumstances of all things considered how everything has transpired 
I wouldn't take that chance either. And I would be looking for other um, attorney uh, information to help me. I would seek out another attorney as well to seek out other things when it comes to uh, other litigations that may come uh, from her family about him doing something to their family member, this, that, and the third. I, I, I would get that in writing as well and get somebody on retainer. Uh, to help me in that situation if it ever went left or you know south and Portia got amnesia again but <coughs> with the help of Bravo and other people that were on staff at that time when all this stuff was going down with the fight they can ha shine some light if that had to come okay but anyway going from that it says uh, Portia thinks um, she feels threatened by Dennis Portia thinks Dennis doesn't like her relationship with Simon and Dennis wishes her the best as he exits stage left. At this point, he's tired of Portia. He's tired of her going back and forth. They do flirt back and forth with one another, but when Portia starts to add big head like she got it going on, and she's trying to throw all of these different ultimatums at him and things she wants him to do and not think about it you know just go by her words say you know do what she asked you to do and that's what you're supposed to do told a line when that's not how it goes when you're kind of ending a relationship it gets messy okay and you know we as women sometimes we play that role where we still think we can be in control of this situation because we know that person well guess what ladies and i've had to find that out myself we don't control the situation once they are out of love with you they go back to building their walls up and they got to look at what's the best interest for me and my child they don't think about the happy times y'all don't have they don't think about you had this baby uh birthed this baby into the world shared your body for nine months or what so you know they don't think about that all that because they felt you left them now they gotta you know learn to live by themselves such as you and then they gotta learn how to take care of baby appropriately okay because the two households are not going to intertwine anymore and, and how Portia's putting it out there she don't want Dennis to be a part of her family anymore which I'm like did you ever check with your family members to see if they felt that same sympathy or I mean that sentiment uh, of getting rid of Dennis no you didn't you just spoke for your family and thinking they're gonna go along with that now I can't see them doing that because they are very strong willed people and they really do like Dennis okay and he's the hot dog king. Who do I want free food here and there? Okay. So, no, you're trying to alienate and think everybody else is going to fall in line with you when they're not. You, your cousin already, Tariqa Ford, already putting you on blast. She don't believe it. She don't care too much a hill of a beans for you or your mama, Portia. Because y'all wasn't there for her when her mother died. Just like you feeling Lundy was not there for you. When you was going through all this stuff, being a grown ass adult, you were 29 at the time, I think, or 30, when you were going through this mess with uh, Cordell, and this child was in uh, undergraduate school. So she couldn't have been no more than 18 or 24, depending on when she was get going into college and, and when she was trying to call herself coming out of college. You know what I'm saying? So why, why were you going to look at your baby cousin to sit there and listen to your, your woes? You already had Lisa's daughter, Lauren going out for you telling you your husband divorcing you and you saying you didn't even know you found out on twitter now how dumb is that okay you had lauren that's been your ace for cool since day one so you trying to make an excuse but you weren't there for me to london and i wasn't there for you and we really don't hang around each other or you know it's all this negative shit me even made london cry i'm like where do we do that at and why okay but anyway going back to the situation where dennis and her were having I tried to have a decent conversation and some food in between. He just knew it was null and bust. He just up and left the table. Because Portia had already jumped up. Talking about you don't want to go there. You you don't want me to tell the world what you really do. What you really pay for. And I was just, just getting indignant and stuff. But anyway, Dennis doesn't reveal if he's going to attend Portia wedding. Nine times out of ten, he may. I, you know, just to see his little girl all dressed up and stuff. Because really, he doesn't have any... Uh, misplaced feelings for negativity for Simon. He could care less. It's almost like, thank you for taking her off my hands. I'll forever love her because she is the mother of my child, my firstborn child, but that's not going to stop me. Whenever I do feel like, you know, I want to get her back, I think I would drop her a line, you know, which I don't think he's that type of person, especially if she's married. 
you know, that's a closed case, or it should be a closed case, where he should not even infringe on that. But he's, you know, look look at Dennis. He ain't hard on the eyes, you know. And um, he's very successful in his businesses. And how he's been taking care of PJ, any woman in her right mind would probably give him a go at it and start a family with him. But, hey, <laughs> he ain't going to think about poor. So, he's going to like, you got Simon. You said she was cool. Calm and collected. You like it. This older man. He was going to treat you right. Why can't I have somebody? Now, mine's is close to my age. And we getting down there partying, caring all. That's us. You know what I'm saying? You choose you. You do you. Let me do me. And that's where it is. But see, Portia, she thinks once you were hers, you're going to always be hers. No, nah, baby, that baby y'all made together going to all be yours. But it was a gift from God. I mean, and God gets ready for his gift back. It just is what it is, okay? But anyway, moving off that subject, going back to the article, it says, um, um, nothing is, has been resolved on the co-parenting side. Looks like things are still uh, up in the air for this family. And I'm sure this won't be the last of Portia and her family's mess. Okay, because that's basically what it is. Portia thinks she run things in her family. And she has to decide this, that, and the third. And everybody's supposed to toe in line. And I'm like, okay. Well, where is your, uh, where is Jose the third? Why he's not checking in? Why he's not checking you? Telling you. You know, I'll help you song with mama if she's becoming to be so much of a burden on you financially. Uh, we can work some things out. You know, talk to me. You don't have to marry this man if you really just marry him because you think he can take care of you financially. And, you know, and, and the way he look, he don't look like he asks for sex too much. He just has this fascination of being on TV. And he feels that you can help him with that. Because he knows you, 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 got, you, you probably like cash and checks, like paycheck to paycheck. He know you ain't good at saving or, 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 or good at nothing but looking pretty. Okay, and playing house. And as soon as he finds somebody better, because to me that's what it seems like he's doing. He tried Fallon. Fallon wasn't as big as you in the entertainment field. But she was smarter than you. Okay, to lead with some assets, which I don't think you're going to be able to. Because he's already got your name. Or got your funds or some of your funds allegedly and went out and purchased a house and didn't put your name on it now how silly and dumb is that okay because you could still have your name on a house and not be married to that person because everything you're doing you're balling backwards in a sense so i, I don't know when everything's going to catch up with you and everything lines up appropriately but you, you've been balling backwards baby you've been balling backwards since you got into the dating scene it seems like but that's all I had on this uh, particular video. She was asking Dennis to change his way of thinking to be her brother. <laughs> I'm like, baby, you got two brothers. Where are they? You don't need no more brothers. All right. Dennis cannot be your lover and your brother. And your, 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 your family should be telling you that. And probably when they watch this last episode, they're going to be like, what the hell are you talking about? How can your lover, your uh, baby's dad, be your brother? That's nasty, Portia. Okay? that's na And I can't even think about it no more. Let's just take it out of our heads. Okay? But that's all I have for this video, guys. Y'all like it, love it, gotta have more. Don't hesitate to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And come over and have a conversation. Come have a talk with me about the topic at hand. Okay? And we can just dialogue until the situation has gotten tired. And we don't move on to another topic. Okay? But uh, I will see y'all next video. And y'all take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.